Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong math tutorial videos. Today class, ang ipoprove naman natin ay ang theorems on isosceles trapezoid. Theorem number 7. The base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So given isosceles trapezoid AMOR, uh, line segment MO is parallel to line segment AR. Prove angle A is congruent to angle R and angle AMO is congruent to angle O. So number one, yusulat lang natin dito class sa statement yung ating given isosceles trapezoid AMOR, so line segment MO is parallel to line segment AR. Para naman sa ating number 2, line segment AM is congruent to line segment OR and line segment MO is parallel to line segment AR. So pwede natin class ilagay sa reason ang definition ng isosceles trapezoid. So, isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid having one pair of parallel sides and one pair of congruent legs. Next, number 3, from M, draw line segment ME parallel to line segment OR, where E lies on line segment AR. So, ito class yung ating uh, line segment ME na parallel sa ating line segment OR. At ito naman yung E na nandito sa ating uh, line segment AR. So, dito class, pwede natin ilagay yung uh, parallel postulate. So, ano ba yung parallel postulate? So, yung parallel postulate class ay one of the five postulates of Euclid. So, under Finning Euclidean Geometry. It states that through any given point not on a line, there passes exactly one line parallel to that line in the same plane. So number 4 naman class, nakalagay sa ating reason yung definition of a parallelogram. So malamang class na yung statement dito ay yung nabuong parallelogram pagkatapos na mag-draw ng line segment ME. And since class na yung line segment MO is parallel to line segment AR and line segment ME is parallel to line segment OR, it means na yung nabuong uh, quadrilateral MORE is a parallelogram. So MORE is a parallelogram. For number 5, uh, line segment ME is congruent to line segment OR. So, ito naman class ay nasa property ng parallelogram. Two pairs of opposite sides are congruent. So, ilalagay lang natin dito ay uh, property of parallelogram or parallelogram property. Since na-prove naman natin class kanina na yung uh, MORE is a parallelogram. Next, number 6. So, line segment OR is congruent to line segment ME. Dito class, mapapansin natin na pinagbaliktad lang yung nasa statement number 5. Kaya ang pwede natin ilagay sa reason ay symmetric property. So, the symmetric property of equality tell us that both sides of an equal sign are equal, no matter which sides of the equal sign they are on. Example, if x is equal to y, then y is equal to x. Katulad nga nito class na nasa statement number 5 and 6 natin. If line segment ME is congruent to line segment OR, therefore, line segment OR is also congruent to line segment ME. Sa number 7 class, nakalagay naman sa reason natin ay transitive property is statement number 2 and number 6. 
At matatandaan natin class na sa transitive property, it tells us that if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A is equal to C. Ngayon, tignan natin class yung nasa statement number 2 and number 6 natin. Sa statement number 2 class, nakalagay na yung line segment AM is congruent to line segment OR. While sa statement number 6 naman, yung line segment OR is congruent to line segment ME. Ibig sabihin lang class na yung line segment AM is congruent to line segment ME. Next, number 8. Triangle AME is an isosceles triangle. Since na-prove natin class sa statement number 7 na itong uh, line segment AM is congruent to line segment ME, sure tayo class na itong triangle AME is an isosceles triangle. Ilalagay na lang natin dito sa reason ang definition of isosceles triangle. So isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two sides of equal length and sometimes has having at least two sides of equal length. The latter version class including the equilateral triangle as a special case. Next, number 9, angle 1 is congruent to angle A. Since class yung triangle AME is an isosceles triangle at yung angle 1 and angle A ay base angle class, so base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. Next, number 10, angle 1 is congruent to angle R. So yung angle 1 class at angle R ay corresponding angles. And we all know that corresponding angles are congruent. So ilalagay lang natin dito ay corresponding angles are congruent. Next, number 11. Angle R is congruent to angle A. Ito class substitution lang is statement number 9 and number 10. For number 12, angle A is congruent to angle R. So ito naman class katulad nung ginawa natin kanina sa statement number 5 and number 6. Ibig sabihin ito class ay symmetric property. Next, number 13. Angle A and angle AMO are supplementary angles. Angle O and angle R are supplementary angles. So, balik lang ulit tayo class sa parallel line cut by transversal line. So, example class, ito yung ating uh, parallel line. So, yung line segment MO and line segment AR. At ito naman yung magsisilbi nating transversal line. Yung line segment MA or line segment AM. Ganun din sa kabila naman, yung line segment OR or line segment RO, yung ating magiging transversal line dun sa ating parallel line. At mapapansin natin class na yung angle A at angle AMO, ganun din class yung angle O, and angle R ay nasa same side interior angles. So, iyon yung ilalagay natin dito sa number 13. So, SSIAS because yung same side interior angles are supplementary. Next, number 14. Angle AMO is congruent to angle O. So, sa statement number 13 natin class, yung angle AMO ay supplement sa angle A. At yung angle O ay supplement naman class sa angle R. Ibig sabihin, papasok ito sa supplements of congruent angles are congruent. So, tandaan class, if two angles are supplementary to two other congruent angles, then they are congruent. Again class, supplements of congruent angles are congruent. So, proceed naman tayo class sa theorem number 8. So, theorem number 8, 
opposite angles of an isosceles trapezoid are supplementary. So, given natin, isosceles trapezoid arts or trapezoid ARPS prove that angle ARS and angle S are supplementary. Angle A and angle T are supplementary. So, number 1 class, ilalagay lang ulit natin yung ating given. So, isosceles trapezoid ARPS. For number 2, uh, line segment AR is congruent to line segment PS. And line segment RT is parallel to line segment AS. So, ito class ay definition lang ng isosceles trapezoid. So, isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid having one pair of parallel sides and one pair of congruent legs. Next, number 3. From R, draw line segment RE parallel to line segment PS where E lies on line segment AS. So, katulad lang class na ginawa natin kanina sa theorem number 7, sa statement number 3 then parallel postulate. So, na-explain ko naman na ito sa inyo kanina. O, proceed tayo class sa number 4. So, nakalagay sa reason natin, uh, definition of a parallelogram. So, ganun din class, ilalagay lang natin yung nabuong parallelogram. So, REST is a parallelogram. For number 5, line segment TS is congruent to line segment RE. So, yung line segment TS and line segment RE ay opposite sides ng ating parallelogram. At alam naman natin, class, na isa sa mga property ng parallelogram, yung opposite sides are congruent. So, ilalagay natin lang dito sa reason yung uh, parallelogram property. And for number 6, um, nakalagay naman sa reason natin ay transitive property. So, tingnan natin, class, yung nasa statement number 2 and statement number 5. Sa statement number 2, uh, line segment AR is congruent to line segment TS. Tapos sa statement number 5 naman, uh, line segment TS is congruent to line segment RE. Ibig sabihin lang class na by transitive property, yung line segment AR is congruent then sa line segment RE. Next, number 7. Number 7, triangle ARE is an isosceles triangle. So, halos magkapares lang talaga ng ginawa natin sa theorem number 7 kanina. So, ilalagay lang din natin dito yung definition of an isosceles triangle. Number 8, angle 3 is congruent to angle A. So, yung angle 3 natin class tsaka angle A ay nasa base angle ng ating isosceles triangle. So, base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. Next, number 9. So, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle A. Kapag ganito class na ipinapakita lang yung sum ng ating interior angles ng triangle, papasok ito sa interior angle sum theorem on triangle. So yung interior angle sum theorem on triangle uh, tells us that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Next, number 10. Angle 3 is congruent to angle 2. So, makikita natin, class, yung angle 3 natin at angle 2 ay alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles are congruent. So, alternate interior angles are congruent or AIAC. Next, number 11. So, angle A is congruent to angle S. So, ito class yung ating angle A nandito at nandito naman yung ating angle S. So, kung mapapansin natin, yung angle A natin and angle S ay nasa base angle ng ating 
trapezoid. So, pwede natin ilagay class dito sa reason yung theorem number 7. So, yung theorem number 7 natin, uh, base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. For number 12, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle S. Ito class, uh, substitution lang from statement number 9, 10, and 11. Next, number 13. Measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is equal to angle arc. Ito naman class ay angle addition postulate. So, ad angle addition postulate states that the measure of the larger angles is the sum of the measure of the two smaller angles. Next, number 14. Uh, number 14, measure of angle arc plus measure of angle S. So, ito class, substitution lang ulit, statement number 12 and 13. For number 15, uh, measure of angle S plus measure of angle T. So, same side, interior angles lang ulit class or SSIAS. So, same side, interior angles are supplementary. Next, number 16. Angle A plus angle T. So, ito class ay substitution. Uh, statement number 11, 12, and 14. Next, number 17. Uh, angle R and angle S are supplementary. And angle A and angle T are supplementary. So, dito class, definition lang ulit ng ating uh, supplementary angles. So, proceed naman tayo class sa theorem number 9. Theorem number 9, the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So, given isosceles trapezoid Roma, prove that line segment RM is congruent to line segment AO. So, number 1 natin class, ganun lang ulit, kukopi lang natin yung ating given. So, isosceles trapezoid ROMA. Next, number 2. So line segment OR is congruent to line segment MA. Ganun pa din, definition of an isosceles trapezoid. For number 3, angle ROM is congruent to angle AMO. So, yung reason natin class dito, theorem number 7. Base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Next naman, number 4, uh, line segment OM is congruent to line segment MO. Ito class, na-explain ko na sa inyo dati. So, pag equal sa sarili, reflexive property. For number 5, um, sa reason natin ay SAS congruence postulate. Ibig sabihin, uh, kunin lang natin class a figure yung dalawang congruent triangle by side angle side congruence postulate. So, ano nga ba yung triangle natin na pwedeng kunin dito? Triangle ROM is congruent to triangle AMO. And for our last number, number 6. Uh, line segment RM is congruent to line segment AO. At siguro class, familiar na kayo ngayon dito sa CPCTC or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So CPCTC, again, uh, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So, hanggang dito na lang class. Kung meron po kayong hindi naintindihan at meron po kayong gustong itanong, uh, pakilagay lang sa ating comment section at isa-isa po natin niyang sasagutin. Muli, maraming salamat po sa panonood God bless!